All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at a couple tweaks, a couple things. Um, I found that are pretty fun since there's no jailbreak for the, uh, the iPhone uh, 5S yet. Um, we're going to be looking at a couple things. We're going to look at IDOS, and we're going to look at, uh, at Gridly. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Gridly is already. But um, first thing we'll mess with, we'll go ahead and uh, go into IDOS here. And I'm, I just want to like put it out there. I'm not a hacker. I'm not a developer. Um, I just kind of use the tools that are out there and, and uh, try to have a open mind about what to do with them and uh, just try to think outside of the box. But anyway, here we go. So we'll go ahead and load up IDOS. Uh, what I did here was uh, I found a DOS-based emulator uh, for Nintendo NES. Um, so we'll go ahead and load that up here. Oops, it uh, helps if you can spell. Sorry, I'm like reading and typing at the same time. I don't know if you can see what's going on here, but it's a uh, GUI. So now um, we're going to go ahead and launch Windows. Sorry for the crappy uh, camera quality too, it's my MacBook tilted up on, on its side. But it's the only way I can kind of get a steady camera going. So with Windows my predicament is I can't figure out how to install something to this image. Um, I mean, I can put it on the image via uh, Magic ISO, but it won't boot after that. It's something about the the size or parameters of the image isn't correct. Um, now, the funny thing is, like on this here, when you try to activate or uh, look at the uh, file system, it just shows what's on the image. Um, you know, basically blank hard drive with a fresh Windows install. I can't actually access that same C drive that I was messing with in DOS. Um, therefore, I can't install you know any applications as of yet. I haven't figured out how to do it. Um, I would assume they would run at full speed. Could be wrong. Um, so we'll go ahead and shut that down because there's really nothing to show you in here. But it it totally works and it's very very fast. Um, I also have Windows 98. But anyhow. Um, so I'm sure like once I figure out how to do that, I can run Windows, regular Windows applications just right on the phone, which would be cool. Um, let's see, what's another thing I know? Um, you can put folders inside of folders. So like I'll demonstrate here, I'll put this here. Oops. So make a folder. I can't figure out how to do this. Make a folder. Okay. Now if you hold that folder down and double click, see how it's all huge? You can go in here and move that folder right into there. Okay, now I have a folder and a folder and in a folder. 
So that's how you do that. Um, let's see, field test um, doesn't work anymore to get the uh, the um, numeric uh, value for your signal. You used to be able to do a trick where you could hold down your power button and hold down your home button, and it will leave the signal as a decibel. Well, it works that time. Cool. Well, it does still work. So now it shows negative 97 up here where my signal is. Cool. Um, that's really about it. But my plans uh, with IDOS, I mean, there's there's a couple things you can do with this. Um, one, you can probably boot a live image CD. So like Ubuntu or maybe even Android x86. You may be able to boot right out of DOS here. So theoretically, you can have Android on your iPhone or you know, full-fledged um, operating system and, and play applications and, and uh, you know, EXE files, whatever, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool. I just want to share it with everybody. Um, you can find out how to download all this stuff on the Internet. It's just a, it's a rabbit hole, and it, it goes down really deep, especially if you're nerdy like myself. Um, that's it. See ya.